Baby, you don't know what you do to me between me and you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Click the subscribe button right now and click the notification bell to make sure you are notified every time I post a new video. So today we're coming with a thrift haul. Um these are this is a series I wanted to do for a very long time. A lot of people on Instagram ask me all the time. And I want to do it in a way where I feel comfortable with it in a sense of it looks good, the quality looks good. Okay, I'm pairing it, I'm making it into an outfit for ideas. Um, and I want to go into detail on how I thrift, the do's and don'ts what you need to look for, how to investigate the product itself before you buy it, where to shop, how you know this is a good thrift store or not, pricing point, budget, all of that. But today we're not gonna go into those details. Today we're gonna just have a simple haul, me buying a couple of things that I felt like was good for my closet as well as this year I'm focusing more on staple pieces in a sense of I don't want to mass shop like I usually do but actually be you know more conscientious of what I'm buying something I can use all year round or something I can you know make different outfits either dress it up or make it a casual just a lot of versatility in these pieces as well as something I know I will use a lot especially for pictures to come for my Instagram and hopefully a vlog so let's get started i'm excited to show you these pieces today was kind of a slow day so i got there late everybody else who got there before me already took all the good stuff so hopefully by next week <laughs> i have a chance to get there really early and find a lot of great stuff but let's get into it all right so let's start with the accessories i found me two pairs of hats Hats I've been looking for for a while. Hats I don't want to spend $60 on. And that's just me. In the future, I probably will. But for now, no. It's me. But these are hats I feel like I can wear in the spring and summer. Not necessarily just the fall and winter. And that was the reason why I got them. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go with this one right here. Really nice. Really clean. Okay real sturdy this is how i found it it's a really nice hat and i was like "Ooh, and it fits my wig okay i could see me do a little something something with this you know what i'm saying i have a few ideas on how i would dress this particular hat i'm just really happy it fits over my wig and all that good stuff because this is a color i really want for a hat and i'm so happy i found it and I feel like it will do the job when it's time for it to do the job okay the next hat I got was this really chocolate brown hat it's smaller than the other one so I probably wear it like I can wear it over my wig there you go like I could sit it there but I feel like it would fit without my wig and you know, I, I just felt like, you know what, the reason why I took it is when I have my real hair, I slick it down, do some slick buns, it'll sit real well the way I want to dress this hat. So I got it for that reason, especially as a dark chocolate. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to lose the opportunity of wearing it. And it's very sturdy, just like the other one. So that makes me really happy. It's practically barely used, so that's a plus okay now on to shoes so y'all i got me like three pairs of shoes one of them are boots i'm not gonna really show them because they're just boots <laughs> you know what? maybe i should i just should just for the sake of the video so i got these particular boots right here like so like that I think this person only wore probably once. It's fairly new. Um, I love the gold detailing. Okay. I'm in the process of me disinfecting it. But um, yeah, it's practically brand new, y'all. And this is my second pair of boots. I always buy my boots thrifted because where I thrift, I thrift 
near the areas that rank in higher income. <laughs> if that makes sense. Like I live in a higher rent income area, but I feel like it's saturated full of people. So there's a lot of people who do what I do. Y'all, <laughs> I live literally near Atlanta, but like the upper part, if that makes sense. I don't consider the upper part. I've been here for a very long time, but it's beginning to be, you know, in flux with people who make money. So I'd rather go to the outskirts of the other people who make money where people don't really know about because I'm not gonna find these boots here. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not gonna find these boots here. Now the other boots I bought, they're brown and they look just like this, but a different material. I don't remember the name. Hopefully I put the name down below in the description box. But um, when I looked at the value of the boots and I practically got them new, and they're similar to this, but you know, in the middle is like uh, wool, it's made with wool and genuine leather, all that. It was like worth what, $200? And I only pay like $5. So, you know, I'm gonna thrift my boots off, okay? I don't wear boots often. I really wear them when I'm dressing casual and I don't feel like wearing boots, like heels or depending where I am in the winter. So I definitely needed something like this. I always have brown boots, so I'm really happy to have some black boots going, okay? Enough rambling about boots, okay? So let's go on to the other two pairs of shoes that I bought that I envision now. The, you know what? Let me just show you. Let me just show you before I go into all the details that I want explain okay now the first one I'm so light okay this one was barely worn too okay this is what it looks like y'all let me put one shadow down and just y'all see this barely worn the person probably wore it like one time what's so crazy is when I go thrifting, I have what I'm looking for in mind. I save a lot of outfits on my phone through Instagram, Pinterest, all of that. So I have an idea of what I'm looking for, either a dupe or just that product alone. And, you know, a lot of times when I keep it subconsciously, I find it thrifting. So these particular shoes, you know, these became real popular with the spiral band and all that. So when I saw today, I had to get them I had to get them and what was crazy is my what was crazy is it was barely worn so that's technically brand new for me I know I can get a lot of use out of it and when I tried them on they made my feet look so pretty so I was just like you know sis had to really like get these pair they're just so beautiful like look at this okay can y'all tell them in love <laughs> like ah uh, ah uh, i can't wait to take pictures and actually go out for brunch or something in the spring i'm definitely gonna pull these out a lot the last pair of shoes i got okay so before i show these pair of shoes i know this these particular shoes some people might not like them some people will. I per particularly like them a lot. I see myself wearing them a lot. And I got them specifically for a piece I found as well thrifting and I felt like they would be paired so beautifully, which you're gonna see in the screen. <sighs> and these shoes are practically new. The person only wore them once. I can tell by the soles right here. And just right here. But these are the shoes. I know. I know. It's not everybody's cup of tea. Okay? It's not everybody's vibe. But for me, I said this is it. I love them. I I just saw them. And seeing that they were barely worn, barely in damage, just like the other ones. I had to get them. I had to, I don't know this the imperfections the little fluff and it's not our typical fluff that had this big trend and hold on us for years since 2016 but it's like a light fluff a light 
full fur. It's not too much going on, but it's enough to get it going on. And I feel like, depending on how you dress it, it can be very tasteful. So, I had to get them for your girl, okay? I just really like them, and when I tried them on, they felt very comfortable. So, you'll see a lot of these as well. Ah! You can't tell me they're not you! I'm just looking at my monitor like, wow, these are stunning just like the other shoes I just I just really love them <laughs> so now the last part of this haul the pieces okay so because I was very intentional of the particular clothes I wanted to buy especially starting the year 2022 especially thrifting I mass shop a lot as I said at the beginning of the video I mash out a lot. I'll just be like, yeah, I can figure this out. Yeah, I'll put this on. Yeah, I'll figure out an outfit. And then I end up donating them at the end of the year because never wore them. Don't really like the piece. I thought I can pull it off. It never attempted. Didn't care for it. My heart wasn't into it. So I was like, you know what? We're not going to do that anymore. And I'm very proud of myself because I see myself wearing these a lot. So let's get into the first piece. This is like, I can't explain what it is. Like, it's kind of like, and it's unisex. Isn't this crazy? I don't know who it's by. I wish I knew. But it's like, how can I explain it? Kind of like a cardigan, but not like a cover up. But what really got me was the print. Y'all see this detail? The top button and how like the sleeves flare is just it's really really pretty and the fabric isn't heavy so I can see myself wearing with some a really nice dress underneath like a fitted dress thin material and just putting this over really to dress it up with the shoes I know it's looking crazy right now but when I put it together it's gonna make sense it's it's gonna make sense it makes sense in here i know it will make sense out here in the real world okay i really love this when i first saw it i was like grabs okay no one is gonna beat me to it and i was just like in love seeing it so this is it you'll probably see a side video on to the next next piece i got was this shirt you guys see it came off it's kind of like a wide shirt kind of giving me 90s feel I see myself in the summer wearing this it's thin material I love the buttoning detail I like how it just sits kind of wide on my shoulders and just I can see me wearing like a fit skirt some jeans something real casual and nothing too serious yeah so this is what I got okay because we sure need staple shirts either to dress it up or dress it down uh, I don't I don't want to think too much in what I'm wearing I'm a person who don't like to think much I want to know that you know if I see a piece I know what I'm doing with it instantly so yes the next piece I got is this thick cotton dress it's by New York and company but you know body thrifted good material fairly brand new has slight slits on the sides and it's fairly long it's not fitted it's like straight down but i like that i i sometimes feel like a straight body form you don't need everything to be outlining your curves or anything so i feel like it's very modest for my style as well as i feel like i can still dress it up dress it down or wear it alone and i'm fairly thinking of these outfits with like a slick down bun so that's the vibe this is like my winter transitioning summer dress because elena is still having weather going back and forth okay second to last outfit second to last dress is this bright green dress just like the other one a straight body form um because i'm curvy it sits on top of my butt so i might just get it altered because i really thought it would just flare and just be down but when i tried it on that's not what it looked like but i loved it nonetheless i see me wearing it with these shoes 
for a light brunch, a date night, a Miami night, a beach night, whatever your girl is feeling, okay? <laughs> My favorite part about the dress was the material because it's very light in the bottom. I don't know why it reminds me of Haiti because this is like what you would see and yeah I really loved it I want to really implement more color into my closet and more color onto my body because uh, we gotta retire the black y'all we gotta retire the black okay our last piece for the day for the evening is this jumpsuit very long you feel me and it's like folded it's not folded at the end but you know why like it it's not really why like it it's just straight down it's a straight boot cut one of those um i wore this because i i said i wore it i bought this because i can see myself wearing it i feel like it's more so like you know uh, a caucasian style i don't know if i can say that can i say that i don't know i love it i can i don't know i kind of want to like when i see certain is it appropriate for me to say caucasian when i see certain women who are caucasian wear these type of colors and these type of fits it looks so casual and relaxed but so cute and when i saw this that's what i thought and i wanted to implement that more in my style as well as just a cute sheet relaxed not too much to think about type of outfit so i sure got this and i'm envisioning just pairing a white shirt underneath you know some casual boots or some casual converse a little hat you know something like nothing too much to think about we don't always have to be dressy but just cute overall so that's what i thought about when i got this and yeah I hope you guys enjoy this haul I know it was very short but this year I'm really working on being more intentional about my pieces as well as more conscientious and making sure that I am using these items as much as I assume to to use them rather than mass shopping and having a bunch of clothes that I will not be wearing so give me a thumbs up comment which piece that you love out of this haul and I will be seeing you in my next video bye